Okay, here's our back stock of uh, CJ7 tubs. So, um, unfortunately, when it comes to 7 tubs, the best solution is to go to a YJ tub um, because there's just not a lot out there. I do get them in. I had one this week. It's solar ready, so uh, they do exist. But I would say for every CJ7, we get maybe two or three a year, if that. So I'm going to show you real quick, because every time I do and say, you know, this one's not in great shape, um, it's discounted heavily, uh, you know, we give, we give massive discounts, like extremely cheap um, compared to what like a grade A goes for, which is usually three, four, sometimes up in that area, um, thousand. Um, I'd be happy to sell uh, one of these and do it for a killer deal. My issue right now is going to be space. Um, especially for this East Coast trip. But if you don't necessarily need it this week and you don't mind paying a hot shot or a freight company, we use these guys. It's something we know. Um, then I'd say, yeah, jump on it. And I might even be able to get on this load. So without further ado, I'm just going to run through these three, I believe, maybe four. Let's see. That one's pretty toast. But this one's actually not too bad. Um, I say that with a too bad. Emphasize that because there is some things wrong with it, obviously. Um, but it's uh would be probably and it's not been pulled the frame still underneath this one so i'd have to do that um but pre-dismantle you know we do that pre-dismantle thing you're probably used to that already by now we've been doing this for 18 years probably seen our ads come up a few times not more than once and that just means that we'd still anything or the frame still attached still qualifies for a, a bigger discount so you get the the discount based on the condition we think it's in plus the fact that there's still somewhat of a chance on it and then it does work in your favor with that uh, because if it does come out to be worse than we thought, we can just refund it, cancel it out. There's a deposit is literally like 150 bucks. It's barely anything and it's totally refundable. Um, but obviously our point is to sell and your point is to buy, uh, what you're wanting. So we're, our, uh, avoidance of that is as much as we can be and as much as you can be. So, uh, nonetheless, it's something I like to put out there. So there's really no risk involved on your part. Uh, if it does intact be something. And the reason I say that is like, let's say I cover everything and it is exactly what we think it is. And then you say, no, okay, then the deposit doesn't get refunded. But in the case that we do this and we pop the frame and the frame is hiding a uh, torque mount, torque pocket mount is trash underneath or there's some uh, box in or not box, regardless, something that uh, requires more work than we initially thought, we can either adjust the price down um it may never go up if you've locked in a price but we can just adjust it down of course my wife's calling me so hang tight for just a second hey i'm right in the middle of video you okay oh yeah i'm sorry it's okay can i call you here in a minute yeah i okay. just wanted to let you know we're going trick-or-treating okay so dinner. all right sounds great love you okay right. love you bye. bye sorry about that i'm literally up against the clock with this trip coming up so and i told customers I'm going to call them back and it's just been she we were in the ER with her today so it's just been a huge thing she's pregnant right now so anyway nonetheless everything's good right now just you know as good as it can be for 24 degrees right now uh so uh not my favorite time of year <laughs> but anyway so um anyway so just trying to explain that uh what that means right so you're locked in okay we're not gonna if it, it turns out to be better than it is then we thought it was going to be great. No problem. You're still locked in. We're not going to up the price on you or wiggle out of it at all. Um, but if it turns out to be worse, then you get the option. You can either say, no, let's find something else. Or, um, and these subs are a little different because they are discounted a little bit, like a lot more than we normally do. So, um, okay. So I'm going to show you the best I can. It's on the ground. It's cold. It's nighttime. Uh, if you're interested in this tub and you want better photos or videos, I can even lift it up and get still a pretty dismantle so you still get that discount but get kind of a bird's eye view from the bottom although i will say um it's probably going to look pretty good on the bottom because the floors are actually not too bad in this tub even the corners and this is an early tub and this is another video i'll put up for that reason and identifying an early tub versus a later this is probably a 76 77 and the way you can tell is you got these angle iron brackets here uh here and here and there and there and they're and, and the roll bars, the other way that's significantly uh, to see when you walk upon them is the roll bar ties in only to the top of the wheel well and the feet do not extend down the floor. Now you could modify this tub and get it to do that and go to and use this on a later one, but it usually is unnecessary. There's something else we have, you know, in some cases, again, being a lower one, it may not be. So we know there's some rust. And when I say rust, like cancer rot there a little bit anyway, uh, this looks pretty good. Maybe a deep scratch in between the E's. 
I'm not hiding anything. I want you to see it as you're standing here next to me. Um, firewall's pretty clean. We're going to go back to that side in a second. I'm just going to rotate around. Um, power brake booster, this will all be pulled. We just we sell these completely stripped. And really, this is probably not great anyway, but that bracket's worth some money. Um, and then, of course, the cowl up there, we usually pull those. That one's cracked, so you can have it if you want. Then the dash on it is good, uh, but it has been cut. And when I mean by cut, the radio cut out. Not a huge deal if you're going to be putting an aftermarket stereo in it anyway. So that's not too bad of a dash. If you need a dash in it, or we can include some of that. This side definitely has some rust there and fairly extensive. That's probably about uh, at least a foot, maybe 13, 14 inches wide from, let's see, there to there. And then it goes up to right underneath the lettering. And not, not actually that uncommon to see. Even on clean tubs, you start seeing a little bubbling there. Um, this is folded in probably from a forklift, but not too bad. That's actually accessible to bend that back. Shouldn't be too big a deal. And then up through here, this has got a little bit of an unusual bend in the, in the belt rail. We call these belt rail. Again, not something that would be too hard to fix, but you would need to bring this back up, especially if you're putting a, well, for aesthetic purposes anyway, it looks bent. Uh, but if you're running a hard top and it's slightly bent there. So I bet you they put something in this that was heavy. They may be using it for hunting or logging or something and bent the, the top of that belt rail down. But nonetheless, it's not terrible and it's definitely fixable and it's something you can get in from both sides. I always like to point that out versus like a boxing area. Um, surface through here, corner is okay, but completely blown there. That's another pretty common area to see. And uh, that actually is good there. I thought that had a hole, but it doesn't. Um, these guys was looking for those, so we'll pull those off for another customer. And then going through the under, rocker of your tailgate this looks pretty decent and then that's completely blown out there and that little area there and there's a little bit of bondo looks like up here maybe um, this could be leveling from factory when they ship these tubs they did a lot of that i'll talk about that in some other videos i do um so actually you know this tub has been it's kind of funny this tub was put back here by one of my guys based on what i'm just seeing on the top this actually would qualify for like a c grade tub um which isn't uh like bottom of the barrel by no means um and uh still definitely usable especially with the floors now uh i don't think i showed this real well so but this side um those had probably some sort of trim or possibly diamond plate uh, or even the soft top snaps there something was there because there's some holes there and of course this is just a fender flare that's just cracked torn to pieces and then down in the lower rocker here that's all pretty good actually so that floor pan on the passenger side is pretty dang good. Um, I don't see anything even really soft there. And underneath the seat, that looks good. Sometimes these crack, they might get a little bit worn, but not too bad. Okay, tunnel looks pretty straight. It's got a section of frame sitting there. Don't know why that is, but a um, little bit of little bit of light coming through here at the corners. This is real common to see, especially in the later ones when the roll bar connects here. But this is this is fixable and very not very bad at all. In the back. For being bent there and there, the back is actually nice and flat. So a lot of times when they've been overloaded or uh, weighted, whatever, I'm like starting to slur because it's cold, cold enough out here. I'm drooling now. Um, they, get, they get a little wavy when they get real loaded up. So uh, let's see if I can get this guy. I'm going to put the phone down just for a second. You can see the rest of the beautiful yard back here. out of the way now we can see that side a little bit better and and part of the final approval video for you to get at the end is going to be this will be completely cleaned out all this stuff will be pulled uh see there's some diamonds right there those are hard to find that's a rear seat bracket uh or not seat excuse me um rear tire here but there's a little wet back here but this looks all solid under here and we'll get all this cleaned out the hot seat and there's a little same thing a little bit of Lights coming through there. This looks okay through here. Uh, okay, so that looks good. This floor up here is pretty good, but you're starting to see right there some rub. A lot of times, especially with the floor being as clean as it is the rest of it, a lot of times that's actually caused um, just from the uh, floor mats and carpet. And just because it's hilled right there or angle that just kind of rubs up and down up and down just like sandpaper rubs a hole through so yeah i'm going to say right now with the with the mainly the the damage at least what i'm seeing right now is being the back and 
We obviously have to see the bottom to really give it a, but I bet the bottom's not too bad on this tub. Um, I'll probably have a couple broken bolts. I'll price that into it, even if they don't end up being broke. And uh, usually the ones that break are these rear ones. And I bet you with the pockets uh, or the uh, rocker like that is down there, I bet that will. Um, and maybe, maybe another one, we'll just price that in just to be cautious of it. But um, yeah, nonetheless, I think this one, for someone that's dealing with a major Flintstone issue, or even just, I mean, I've seen, I've, I've been, I go to the East Coast twice a year. This year only be once because my wife being pregnant. But um, uh, I see, I've seen some pretty bounds. This one actually, especially for an early tub, and early tubs are hard to find. Uh, this whole little angled system they have in this, you know, for some of you not building a restoration or whatnot, that probably don't give a crap about that. But for somebody who's doing a 76 or 77, uh, they do. But again, if you're doing a later one, let me show you real quick because I think I have. Yeah, here's a later one here. This is another one I was going to uh, do. And I'm just going to do this as a set of them. I mean, it's not obviously set for sale, but, um, you know, if somebody was interested. This one is probably not even usable, actually. I can already tell you it's not. Uh, and it might be. Let me see. Sometimes the CJ7s and the YJs get a little hard to um, identify. And the, usually the way I tell them is the tailgate, which is not in this one, but I can see with the strike. Yeah, this is a seven, so probably like an 86. Um, this one's pretty much done. I'm gonna show you just briefly. That's a major issue and the whole corner's missing, uh, but you can see the rust down in there. I'm not even gonna get in this one because this one would be like, you pay the delivery fee and I'll get it to you kind of thing. Um, roll bar is probably salvageable to an extent, but it's probably got some rust down there for sure. The floorboards down here are pretty bad in that. So the one nice thing about this one that we probably could sell, and this is what we'll price it as, is this top section, this cowl is in pretty good shape. And so for YJ guys that are trying to do a really authentic swap, um, we'll sell them this section. Uh, we literally cut it right the seam there, and then they'll seam it in, and then they'll get the heater, because that's the change on them, the, the way that defrost works on them. I guarantee there's going to be rust in there, and there's not much on the side here. Um, cowl looks good. Fire willow looks pretty good. Don't see much there. And then, of course, and this is just stuck on, so I guarantee we're probably hiding rust under here. So we'll assume that. And then this side's starting to get some of that uh, bleeding through rust cancer areas there. So um, I guess because I do my diligence on it, I'll just give you a quick peek. But I know this is. So back half of this guy is gonna need to be replaced. So you can pay the delivery plus the cow fee on it if you decide if that's, and the rest of the floor, you know, I didn't get too close. Passenger side's not too bad. The corners are pretty junk. That one's, I bet there's probably a good amount of rust under these. And then real quick, just to show you. So there you go, there's your tie-ins there, right? So your, your roll bar mounts to your floor here and there versus sitting on top, which that one didn't have, but it does. And then there's none of those angled brackets because the roll bar sits there, but everything else is the same. So you could cut that one out and modify it pretty easily. Um, there's some other subtle things, but nothing much, especially. Uh, that's a YJ, and you see there, where we go right there. See how the, the top had the holes up there? YJs don't. But this one is a bad tub anyway. It's got, a, I mean, probably workable again for some people, but, uh, uh, and actually, you know, I'm running out of light, so I'm not going to be able to go into it. But if you were interested in CJ7 tub, I could show you this one better tomorrow in the light and get the uh, frame. Let's see, there's other half of that frame section. Get that out of it and just see. Um, and then you could even, you know, like I said, you could even swap yours. A lot of times that's not bad. So consider that. And then lastly, this guy, which is also YJ. So the same thing. And I know this one, this one's actually got some major things, some like weird cracking in it, um, like there. And it looked like it had been hit at one time and buckled. So um, those get a little bit more intense to fix because where they've cracked there, you don't usually see it until you're all the way peeled, sandblasted, and then all of a sudden you start seeing where they've been other places. So that tub was completely, I mean, look at how bad that is. That's like East Coast style. What I normally see uh, what people are facing is just big old holes and splits and whatnot. So, uh, but surprisingly, I think that frame was somewhat usable for a section or two. And then those are both, it's a YJ and a TJ, and uh, and just and this is totally different. But there's there's a good example of what happens, in especially the later ones where you get torque. These are called torque pockets. This whole area, and it's completely collapsed down here. So, all right, my whole intention was to do a short two-minute video, send it to Luke. He's got a guy looking, and uh, 
get on with the night, but uh, I've done exactly what I always do and just, I just too passionate about this. I do have one more I'm gonna talk to you about. That one is really bad. It's got rust all over the sides. And so is that one there. Um, the green one over there actually might be another um, C or B grade. So I'll look at that one a little closer if you're interested. And uh, before we get to those though, because I'm running out of time for this trip, probably get some pricing out there, possibly deposit. And that way, if you decide you want that one, there's like a backup over there or that one, there's a backup over there. And then again, here's this guy. This one's got some major body work that's been done to the floors. And there's also rust in the sides here. Uh, this is a tub that I would I would do a delivery on um, and, and plus the cow. Um, so again, we can get into more of this one. It's an early one. I believe this is, yeah, this has got the angle brackets in it, same thing. But this one definitely needs some work. And then that's gonna do it for seven tubs that are like lower, you know. But I will give myself or the yard credit for those other two. I thought they were actually lower grades and I think we're gonna end up pulling those out because that's how hard seven tubs are to get. But um, if you look just a few days ago, I just listed a seven tub and it was like what we consider an A grade. Had a little body work, but uh, no rust, really, really clean. Um, and that one sold just like I thought it would pretty quick. So, uh, okay, that's it. 303-666-9020. Um, I'm gonna go warm my hands up, call a couple customers back and uh, uh, get on with the night. And then happy Halloween to those who are out there that uh, have little ones that are participating in that holiday. I know that's not much of a holiday for most, but uh, we got a three-year-old and finding entertainment, fun things to do that don't involve a video game is kind of important to us. So that's where my wife is right now. I'll we'll have another baby here in January and that's part of the reason I'm only gonna make one trip myself. Um, so I got a couple extra, I got one more spot for a tub and uh, I can do another probably five or six frames and a handful of axles, engines, some, some of the heavier freight, little items, unless you're getting a tub and we can put it inside of it, we'll just ship ground. So don't, uh, don't not call us if it's something, you know, you're not seeing some of these records out here that we're about to build. Two of those are good TJ motors. There's a four cylinder out here. Uh, I think right there, that's in good shape. And even got a couple of the three, six Pinastar, uh, one good one that's got less than hundred miles. It was takeout for Hemi swap. And then those two that, uh, Oh, part of the reason you get, anyway, I won't get into it, but they got holes in the block, so they'll make good for parts for peripheral stuff. But this is our office where the heat exists. And I'm only showing you this because you can really see, uh, not only is it messy, but passion we have for CJs out here. That is our desk. Pretty cool. And that's a five, it's 7275. If you're not familiar with these, these are extremely hard to get tubs for. And I got one of them in right now. It's out there. Um, not listed yet non tailgate. This was a tailgate. They made them in both options And then of course the CJ sixes that they made in this area have one of those right now, too. So all right. Thanks a lot